Hi passengers, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Train Sim World the Second uh, and we're on the Bakerloo line uh, and uh, we're, we're going to be running this uh, this morning so just do the thing, thank you, do the thing. Uh, let's turn the, uh, turn, the old, uh, turn the old lights on there because uh, obviously we've, we've got we've got guests. Hello, uh, hello guests. I, I don't know why they choose to live here overnight um, but they do. Alright, let's get this rolling because if I don't get a wriggle on uh, we're going to have to wait behind some other flipping service coming in. Yeah, let's, uh, let's give it some of that. There you go. Makes all the, makes all the noises. I'll, I'll let it make the noises for a moment while we uh, set our destination here. Uh, there you go. We'll go to the uh, elephant and the castle. Uh, but I, I don't want to go to just one of them. No, I'll go to both. There you go. Right, there you go. Stop making the noise. And then we've got a, we've got a red. Oh, well, we'll, we'll get rolling as far as the red. And, uh, and then we'll... We'll just hang out until we're allowed to go. Yeah, six, five, four, lots of breaks, three, three yards there, see, see. It's, uh, it's a bit of confidence there. I got confidence in that. Oh, no, we are, we are clearly going to have to wait for this clown to do their, their clowning. I mean, I've got to arrive in, in two minutes. I wonder if I'll make it. So the red signal has finally cleared and it's given me 30 seconds to reach my destination in uh, in 200 yards. So we're, we're not actually going to make that. I mean, I mean it'll be close, but uh, nah, that's all right. Nah, that's okay. No, I'm sure we'll be I'm sure we'll be dandy. But it's uh, it's setting you up for failure from the get go, and that's uh, that's just charming. Anyway, our first stop here is going to be uh, Queen's Park, and uh, it is a park. Apparently, I don't know. Um, no, it's uh, it's a it's a beautiful morning, and so I imagine quite a lot of people are, are tempted by uh, by some park-based activities today. See, look, how are you supposed to get in there without speeding? You just you're just not. You're gonna. You, it's setting setting a precedent for being late from the get-go. But that's the thing with the tube is that very rarely, unless you're going from the start or the end, uh, or the, which would be the start, of course. Uh, if uh, if that's the way you want to roll, uh, very rarely do you target a specific tube service. No, you uh, uh, you go for one that is uh, next to arrive because they uh, they come through often enough. Anyway, let's get the old uh, the old doors open. Uh, grab some passons. There you go. You can see the train. There I am. Look, I'm sat in there. Look. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, look. Yeah. Oh, the camera is giving me all the all the options there for for some brilliance. Uh, right, well, we've got a red signal ahead of us anyway, so I might as well leave the doors open. Might, I might as well close the right doors when I come round to closing the right doors. But uh, whoever's ahead of us there, they don't, they don't give a monkey's about the fact that I'm already late. No, 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 they, could, they couldn't care less. All right, look, I'll close the doors and then let me go. All right, we'll just sit in the platform doing absolutely nothing. Oh, there we go, we're away. Uh, come on in, son, boot it. That's B Avenue. Now then... Uh, this this is the last time you're going to see above ground, of course, um, and uh, and therefore this is the last time you're going to see much of anything, because from here on in it's going to be quite dark. Uh, you do have the option to turn the uh, the in cab lighting system on, but I choose not to do so because you don't turn the in cab lighting system on if you're driving an underground train unless you really like looking at a reflection of yourself in the windscreen. And let me tell you, probably not so much. Uh, no, especially given that it's not me, it's some uh, some virtualized avatar type behavior that we've got going on there. Uh, no, you don't uh, you don't need to see yourself, or in fact me, or in fact anything. The, the green signal is quite nice to see, of course, but uh, but beyond that, no, that's not necessary. So uh, so with signaling and the uh, and the, the hold on, we can we can shove it. Go go go! Uh, give it all of the mustard that you've got in your bag of mustard there. Um, yeah, no, it's uh, it's all good. This is it. This is the this is the view. I mean, I could just cut this together a couple of times and uh, and go. Oh, that was an exciting journey, there, wasn't it? Because because uh, it's a journey. Now the, the the challenge point on this is uh, is in learning to break, and uh, and in learning to break, you have to learn to break at the last possible moment, which is about now, uh, and then you can then you can relatively hammer the brakes on. And uh, and you'll be golden. See, last possible moment. Get the doors ready. Crank them. 
All right, cranking the doors. Now, I could try an exterior camera here, but no, nothing, not a sausage. Uh, not even part of a sausage. So we're going to be enjoying ourselves here from the uh, from the luxury of the of the sea. We're at Kilburn Park, incidentally, which uh, which is a park. Uh, it's, a, it's a lovely day to go to the park. I, 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 I might uh, might find myself a little short on uh, on variations in dialogue in this one, uh, but I'm, I'm sure we'll uh, I'm sure we'll cope. Right, go on, thr thrust it. Let's go. Let's uh, let's get flying through this tunnel. Uh, we've got 700 yards to go until we hit Maida Vale, which is uh, home to the uh, the world-famous Maida Vale Studios. I'm told they're world-famous, of course, uh, but they're probably not. Just because every time they describe them, they describe them as being the world-famous Maida Vale Studios, uh, rather leads you to believe that uh, they're world-famous. Well, I, I mean, arguably before they told me that they were the world-famous Maida Vale Studios, I'd never heard of them, and therefore... One, one wonders whether it is the self-fulfilling prophecy uh, that they are world famous or not. I don't, why are they famous? Well, I, I, I mean, there's a there's a variety of different reasons that you could you could possibly uh, attribute to the world fame that uh, that they ascribe to themselves. I have I have no such information at my disposal. Here we go. Let's uh, keep it casual. Keep it casual and. Breaking time. Okay, right, there you go. Let them in. Yeah, I know, you're impressed. I know, this. I, I'm, I'm pretty solid at this, you know. Uh, only once in a while will I go completely tearing through a station uh, to, uh, uh, to, to unwit. Unwit? Uh, unnerve, I think is probably the word I was going for. Uh, to unnerve my passage. Um, right, we're off. Come on, let's book. Uh, Warwick Avenue, next. Yeah, that's that's what we got coming up next. Uh, Warwick Avenue, which isn't in Warwick. No, it's not. It's in London. No, we haven't we haven't suddenly made a detour uh, of a couple of hundred miles north. In fact, it's probably not even a couple of hundred miles. Probably that probably about 112. There you go. I've not looked that up, so I'm probably wrong. Um, but uh, no, it's uh, no Warwick is uh, is not in London. Warwick Avenue is though, which is probably why we're stopping there. There's a there's a thing, yeah. I see, it's, uh, that's called deduction. Uh, we've we've used a bit of deductive reasoning. Now, with th in theory, because I'm driving relatively well here, though I say so myself, uh, we th th there is the possibility we catch up on the uh, on the service that's running ahead of us. In which case, we'll have some very exciting red signals to contend with. At the present time, however. Even with the, the modicum of overspeeding that I'm, uh, I'm engaging in, and, and you do that in order to make the time up, um, just, a, just a modicum, you don't want to you don't want to go overboard. Uh, right, right there, go on. That's it. Now, if you you can you want to grip it and rip it on the brakes uh, from uh, from a couple of hundred no wait from about seventy yards out. Uh, if you go to max brake and you're doing thirty to thirty five. And you're 70 yards out, you should come to a stop cleanly. The problem, of course, is that there is a there's a certain amount of time. We'll look at it, shall we? Would that would that be exciting? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's very very hard to say. Um, but uh, no, if you if you look at a control, you see. Uh, that I, even though I'm driving it on the old keyboard here, uh, it's not an instantaneous transition between speed profiles uh, that you've got going on. No, it's it takes a moment. Um, anyway, we're, we're coming up next on uh, on Paddington. Uh, Paddington, see big interchange at Paddington because uh, you've got uh, the, uh, the 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 overground service. Well, it's not overground; it's the National Rail these days, formerly known as British Rail. It's not known as British Rail anymore; it's National Rail these days. National Rail service will take you down to the southwest, uh, where they have cheese and cider, and and not much else. Cattle, maybe. Um, yeah, but that's that's about your lot. Yeah, just look. I just want to tickle it. Just just tickle it over the speed limit to try and make up a few vital seconds. I don't think we're going to run to time on this service, but who cares? You know, as long as we get there in a relatively timely fashion and we don't stop in a tunnel, then the passengers are going to be fine. Uh, oh, well, I'm I'm quite a bit over speed now. I'll be okay. I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about it too much. Well, I'm not worrying about it too much. 
Well, that's good because you shouldn't. Okay, there you go. Just applying, applying. Yeah, a bit of applying of the uh, of the braking there, and I, and I wasn't concentrating enough, and so we're we're going to roll in rather than the uh, the brake net pace stopping that uh, that one should uh, one should anticipate. Oh, red signal. Oh, that's that's exciting. Well, we're in Paddington. Yes, okay. Yeah, I know. Uh, people, people don't mind stopping a little bit longer in a, in a large station, except, of course, that you have a whole ton of uh, idiots with a lot of luggage who are trying to get in. I'm not locking the doors. We're not ready to go yet. No, I'll lock them when, uh, when I'm good and ready. Obviously, this isn't helping me be on time, but at this stage, I can, uh, I can comfortably say it's not my fault. Yeah, no, it's somebody else's fault. Yeah, 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 I'll talk to it in a moment. Let's see what have we got on board. Everyone got off. They're all they're all going down to uh, down to Taunton, uh, Bristol. Maybe uh, Bristol Temple Meads there. Uh, a bit of Bath Spa. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll reset the valve, and then uh, we'll we'll ease the uh, ease the brake back to uh, stick. Just stop your infernal beeping. All right. Well, look. If I lock the doors, are you going to let me go? Because that seems unreasonable. Better not. Oh, it flipping has as well. Oh, okay. All right. Well, in that case, I'll just ignore the brake. Because uh, I was just going to leave the doors open until... So oh, we, we weren't actually ready to go anyway. I've more or less made up my time. That's because I'm that good. Yeah, it is. Uh, next up is uh, is the uh, is the Edgware Road. Now you kind of go, oh, that sounds like it should be something. And you kind of go, well, maybe it is, but... I've I've never felt a compelling reason to get off the state off the train at uh, Edgware Road. No, it's, I've I've felt no uh, no compulsion to uh, to do so. There are there are stations that will uh, will come across that I've visited many times on this uh, on this very service, of course, but not not this one. No, no Edgware Road can do one. Uh, no, not into it. More more power. Let's go. Give it all the give it all the go go here. Go go a plenty. Yeah, go up speed, speed a go go. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, here we go. 150 yards, right, and then drop it out. Just stick it in off, and then put our brakes on. Now we're not actually going that fast. You don't need max brake there. You can you can roll it a little bit further, and then in we come. Nice. It's poetry in motion. It's poetry in overshooting the station. But not by much, though. No. See, look, I'll go and see. I, I bet first door is still viable. Well, mostly. Yeah, yeah mostly is good enough. Uh, right, go on, close that. Sit in this. Till it's, uh, tell the infernal beeping to pack it in. Uh, lock the doors. I am happy to oblige you. And, uh, and we're, we're ready to be off and away. Now, we're, co we're coming up on... Uh, what will be the uh, the most exciting part of this particular trip that we're taking here uh, where I actually have any kind of uh, facts and figures for you vis-a-vis -vis things uh, we're coming up on Marylebone yes that's how it's pronounced some people say Marylebone they're wrong it's Marylebone right and uh, and this is a, this is another national rail interchange oh yeah we've got lots of those uh, this, this one will take you out towards uh, towards Oxford and the like should you wish to go there. Oxford's quite nice. Uh, just just so you know. It's, it's not bad, Oxford. Um, it's maybe, it's maybe uh, uh, a little bit tricky to, uh, to navigate if you're in a car, but you won't be in a car. You'll be on a train, like any sensible person. Yeah. I mean, I say, I say that, of course, but, uh, but you rather give up your, your own civil liberty to go where you like, when you like, if you're on a train. Uh, rather than the car, you have to you have to wait until someone says, "Yeah, we can go now." Um, but beyond that, you're you're pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I didn't say the facts would be fun. I didn't say they'd be interesting. But but there you go. That's that's what it is. It's quite a nice station, Marlebone as well. It's not. It's uh, Marlebone. Did you just say it wrong deliberately? No, I think I said it wrong accidentally. Well, that that makes it worse then, doesn't it? Uh, right. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Um, yeah. No, that's that's not really worked. Uh, and now from uh, from Marylebone, you uh, you end up going to uh, to Baker Street. Woohoo! Everyone gets hot and bothered about Baker Street because, of course, it's uh, it's where Sherlock Holmes uh, used to hang out, or would have done if he wasn't a fictional character. 
go. Sorry to break it to you, those of you who desperately hoped that at one point we had a, uh, uh, a masterful uh, wizard of uh, inspectorial services, inspectatorial services, I suppose, um, uh, with, a, with a heroin addiction who liked to play the violin when he was feeling particularly maudlin. Um, but no, he's not real. No, he never did. Never did. No, no, we had never had anybody going after large dogs in the moors of something or other. Uh, no, it just, just didn't happen. Also, it could just be me. I've, I've left that a bit late, but I think we'll be all right. Um, I recall this, this station being a little bit browner than it is here. Uh, instead of these kind of fairly nice white tiles that we've got going, well, sort of, sort of off-white but dirty, I re this could be my graphic settings. And I've seen screenshots where it looks browner, but it's browner. Yeah, pretty certain. It does, however, have the tiles with, uh, uh, with the, the manifestation of the fictional detective on. I don't know. There you go. There you go. That, was, that was that. Right, next, next we're going to stop at Regent's Park. And uh, this may surprise you, but it is a park. Um, it's quite a good one as well, Regent's Park. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite, quite a lot of elephant and castle. Uh, doesn't have either an elephant or a castle, as far as I can recall. Might have had a bit of a castle once upon a time, but we're not talking about that yet. No, we've got to, we've got to save that thrilling narrative for when we get close to it. No, instead we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about Regent's Park. They, they put on some very good concerts in Regent's Park. There you go. Obviously in, in years where there isn't a, uh, a global pandemic threatening to, to give us all a, a really quite nasty wheeze. Um, yeah, don't you, you don't want that. No, no you don't. No, you, you most certainly do not. Uh, but that's okay because at this, uh, at this particular time of the year we're, we're, all, uh, we're all safe and secure locked behind our own door yeah and they're, they're trusting us to stay there as well see this is a this is a bit browner uh, you put your brakes on too soon son but uh come on i'll allow it well maybe i'll use minimum brake then you won't you'll use maximum brake and you'll like it okay there you go and uh crank it quite a few parks in london yeah there are there's there's uh there's this one yeah there's the uh the other couple that we stopped at and that's to name but a couple. Some of the parks, not that big. Other other parks, larger. Yeah. No, I could do this for a living, you know, this uh, this tourism guide business. I think I'm nailing it. Uh, I mean, what more information do you want? Oh, there we go. Now, next stop is Oxford Circus. And it's not a circus. No. no. Well, it is, but it isn't. Um, what it is, however is uh, if, uh, if you feel like you want to make a little bit of extra money and, uh, and you have quite small hands, uh, then Pickpockets Delight, Oxford Circus. Um, if, you're a, if you're a tourist and you fancy visiting uh, London at some point, you'll go, oh, we should go visit Oxford Circus. It's just shops. That's all it is. It's just shops. Yes, uh, you, I mean, it's, it's got some swanky pants shops there, but at the end of the day, they're just shops. Uh, it, it's nothing that you can't pick up from Amazon. Um, thereby, of course, putting said shops out of business and then uh, uh, possibly requiring the Oxford Circus take on a, a, new, uh, a new lease of life. The bad news, however, well, I suppose it's bad news. Well, uh, it, it, let's call it the double whammy. The double whammy of Oxford Circus uh, uh, tube station is that it is the, uh, it is the meeting point between the the Bakerloo line and uh, and the Northern line, is it Northern line? Probably, yeah. I think it's a, I think the Northern line runs through here. Does it? It doesn't. No, you want TCR for for uh, for the Northern line. Uh, but you've got the Central line running through here as well. What am I? Hold on, I'll I'll have a look. It will tell me on there in a moment. I'll uh, I'll, I'll have a shifty and uh, and it will tell me what I need to know. Will it? I'm not sure the signage on here is. You, you know you should have the brakes on about now. Uh, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. It's all right. We'll we'll be okay. We'll have we'll have at least one car back in there. Yeah, I know it's disappointing because I was hoping to get off. I can't see the doors now. Open doors left. Ow, oh, flipping it. I was uh, what TSW officer. I've just I've I've just had a uh, yeah. Open the open the door. No, we will spend extra time here. I, I got so swept up in trying to figure out which uh, which lines actually stop here that uh, I, I forgot to stop here. 
I was going to look at the signage and see if it will actually tell me what other lines there are here, but I don't think it will. Um, yeah, yeah. Hang on a sec. I'm just, I'm just checking something. See, usually it will have way out and then the uh, uh, the other lines. Now, is there a is there a full tube map in this station? I don't think it does. I think uh, I think in the spirit of uh, of keeping people contained within one uh, one line. They've uh, they omitted to uh, to include details towards other lines. Here's what I found. Thank you, telephone flipping out. That was a bit loud. That's my that's my telephone getting involved. She uh, she likes to turn up on occasion and and try and be part of the show. At which point I tell her to shut up and I throw her across the room. You possibly heard these things a moment ago. Um, no. All right, let's zip out of here. I don't. The uh, it's not oh, let's, let's complete an objective. Oh, brilliant. Um, yeah, see, you you go over your, your footbridge and you get into the uh, uh, into the Warren there, and it's just going to let me get down the other side. Yeah, there is no out. You're trapped here. And you kind of go, where, where is train? And you kind of go, ah, oh, yeah, it's, it's more or less where you left it. The signs may say way out, friends, but uh, they don't mean it. No, there is no way out. It's rather like Dark City in that regard. Um, I could have asked the phone before I threw it across the room. I could have asked the phone. Which, uh, you've definitely got a central line. Yeah. I was fairly, I'm sure the, the, the northern line stopped here. Don't want to give up control? No, no, I'm, I'm totally in control. I'm going back now. Just hush. I realise that I'm ruining other services for people. I can't see anything here. I'll sit in that. Right, and then we'll go down over here somewhere. Close doors. There you go. Yeah. All right, thank you, everybody. Show's over. Right, oh, I'm just sitting in the dark. Uh, right, let's uh, let's get underway. In your own time. Have I broken it? I've not broken it. I just, it's okay. You just had to give it a moment to think about its life and, and why it was here. All right, okay. Right, okay, so... Uh, there you go, that was Oxford Circus. Lots of facts for you there. Um, it's, anyway, as a result of it being the interchange between, I'm pretty sure, three different lines, um, it gets very, 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 very busy, particularly because it's also full of tourists. Um, and uh, and they're going like, where do these tunnels go? Do these tunnels even lead anywhere towards where we want to go? And you kind of go, just follow the signs on the wall. You'll be all right. It will get you there eventually. There's only three or four... Uh, underground stations in London that purposefully direct you away from the nearest exit. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's the other thing about Oxford Circus. There are about 97 different ways to leave the station. Uh, and uh, it doesn't matter which one you choose, it won't be the one you wanted. You're, unless you're going there every day, of course, where you uh, where you know what's what. Um, no, you'll, you'll end up coming out and going like, where's Oxford Street? It's, it should be around here somewhere. I'm, I'm looking at something else entirely. And you, and you try and ask someone, but you're, you're asking people in London, and they're a miserable bunch at the best of times. Uh, or or you, you're either trying to ask someone in London, and they're a miserable bunch at the best of times, or you end up asking another tourist, and they, they, they're just as clueless as you are. Uh, they're going like, I was trying to find Hamleys. And you're like, oh, that's, uh, that's near here, isn't it? You're going to go, well, theoretically... Theoretically, it is. Yeah. Anyway, we're we're now at Piccadilly Circus. This uh, this is another touristico hotspot. This one. Uh, and it's not a circus either. No, there is no circus at Piccadilly Circus. Um, but you do have uh, quite a lot of excitement. Uh, there's it's where all of the, the premieres for for movies and stuff that take place in this country t typically kick off uh, in Piccadilly Circus. Um, what else have you got going on there? Uh, touristy stuff, lots of touristy stuff. If you want to go to uh, an Angus Steakhouse, this is basically Angus Steakhouse Central. Yeah, I know we're already rolling. I'm, uh, I'm trying to get ahead of uh, ahead of time a little bit, following my recent detour. But you know, that's it. I mean, that's by the by. We'll be we'll be solid. We'll we'll be golden. Um, yeah. All right. And it, next, here's, here's an interesting one for you. Well, okay, your mileage may vary, and it might just be me. Uh, Charing Cross is our next stop. Yeah, so there you go, Piccadilly Circus. That's uh, that's right, riveting. Um, Charing Cross. You come out of Charing Cross Station, and there's not actually very much there. 
I mean, arguably, you could walk it to Covent Garden from Charing Cross. Uh, it's it's a couple of minutes walk. It's it's not too bad. Um, there's a there's another National Rail station at Charing Cross, and you kind of go, is there? Why? It's it's right in the middle. How how did they make that work? And you kind of go, oh, no, no, they they just did. Um, the the one thing that uh, this particular simulation of the London Underground is not simulating in the slightest, however, is uh, is just how much of an unholy hellscape it is. Um, yeah, I, I don't mean the tube. The tube's fine. Uh, London, L London is an unholy hellscape. Uh, it is jam packed full of people. Uh, all of whom hate you, uh, and it's it's got nothing to do with you personally. Oh, I've, I've overshot again. Yeah, no, I was I was uh, I was blinded by my irrationality vis-a-vis -vis the populace of London. Um, no, I, I've spent a lot of time working in London, and let me tell you, yeah, yeah, I've got I've got no desire to ever do it again. Uh, what about going to London? Uh, again, no strong desire either way. Uh, d d well, no, I have a desire, uh, and that is not to do it. Uh, why? Why? Oh, because uh, you have to get in there, and then uh, you have to get back out again. Getting in there, not too bad. Usually a bit of an adventure. Uh, if you're going to do something social, maybe you're going to go and see uh, a popular beat combo, play their uh, play their greatest hits at some kind of venue or another. Um, uh, maybe, maybe you've just decided that... Uh, uh, that buying stuff off the internet, you're too good for it, and you want to go and look at things in shops that are twice the price. Well, okay, fair enough. Uh, getting in can be quite an adventure if you're on a if you're on a leisure-based activity. Uh, maybe you've uh, you've had yourself a, a cheeky gin and tonic in a can on the way there, as is uh, as is so often the case. Um, but uh, but no, um, you then have to get out afterwards. And let me tell you, getting out of London is horrendous. Uh, because for as busy as London itself may seem, that is nothing compared to the number of people on trains trying to get out of the place. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, it's lousy. Embankment, ah, oh, Embankment's quite a nice, uh, quite a nice place to get off because you can go walk down the uh, Embankment of the Thames. Yeah, what's there? Oh, plenty of opportunities to buy uh, uh, novelty tourist stuff. A uh, plenty hats mainly. Uh, bowler hats saying like I've been to London and nobody was wearing one of these apart from tourists yep um, what else uh, what else do they sell down there oh just tat general general tat I heart London uh, uh, London heart I uh, there'll be the uh, there'll be the the, the tube um, uh, roundel uh, underground logo thing um, and uh and there'll be a heart on that probably as well, or London or something written on it, because um, tourists are a soft touch. They've they've got precious little taste, and uh, and just by just some right old gubbins. Um, but no, fair play. I mean, you know, I, I tourist myself on occasion, and uh, and when I do, I don't buy any tourist stuff apart from a fridge magnet. I buy a fridge magnet from every city I visit. Well, I try to. I don't always succeed, but uh, that way. Uh, when my mind goes later on, and I know some of you may argue that uh, it's possibly gone already, uh, I've got some kind of recollection of, of places that I've been to. I kind of go, I don't, I don't recall having been to Seattle. You kind of go, yeah, you definitely did. Uh, the, the only ones I don't do, because I think it's cheating, think, think it's cheating, so I can pronounce my THs, unlike some channels I can mention, uh, particularly those who pretend to be posh. Um, uh, yeah, no, what? Uh, no, yeah, no, I won't. Uh, I won't buy a fridge magnet from a, a stop uh, where I was uh, where I was. I was laid over, so I haven't got one from Detroit, for example. Anyway, we're at Waterloo now. I had a big bit about Waterloo uh, that I was going to talk about, so I'm going to talk about it now. The thing about Waterloo is the only reason to go there is because you have to go to Surrey. Sorry, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's no. Uh, uh, it's no coincidence that the words sorry and sorry are only uh, a couple of letters apart from one another because uh, sorry is awful. The only upside is you do get to go past Battersea Power Station on your way out, which is quite impressive. Um, but other than that, no, you don't want to go to Surrey. No, it's, uh, uh, Surrey's just grotty. Uh, 
and, and what, why is it over? Why is it grotty? Many people who live in Surrey say it's the finest place in the universe to live, particularly those who live in the town of Guildford. Well, let me tell you, Guildford's horrendous. It's absolutely horrendous. Uh, it is so overcrowded by uh, by people who are well up themselves. Um, that's it. It's not just overcrowded. It's uh, it's overcrowded with people who are well up themselves, and that's uh, that's a double whammy of if you don't want to go there. Um, no, I mean at least if you go to a place like Woking, uh, then it knows it's just a grubby little provincial town. Uh, it just happens to be a grubby little provincial town that's in uh, that's in Surrey. Uh, and therefore, it almost offsets itself to the point where it's all right. Yeah, I lived in Woking for a while. Yeah, I know. Uh, did I live in Guildford? No, I had to go there often enough, though. No, Guildford's rotten. Um, uh, some of the architecture's okay. And if, uh, you know, if there were some kind of global pandemic that wiped out 75% of the population, it possibly would be quite nice. Particularly if uh, if said pandemic wiped out people who are quite up themselves. Um, yeah. No. Uh, this is Lambeth, incidentally. Got nothing to tell you. It just is. That's that's all it is. Anyway, uh, our next stop is the uh, the terminating area for this uh, this particular tourist train, and uh, and that's Elephant and Castle. Neither of which you will find when there. Uh, I always thought it was named after a pub. I've actually got no knowledge whatsoever about why Elephant and Castle is called Elephant and Castle, other than that it is and that that's where the Bakerloo line ends up. Uh, I, I should be slowing down a bit in a moment. Yeah, I should be. All right, well, I'll, I'll go casual. We'll, we'll take it easy here. Uh, I don't think I've I've mastered the old scoreboard on this one, but you never know your chances. You, well, your chances? You know, well, no, you never know. You never know. You don't ever. No, 500 yards to go. I'll tell you something, this is, this is quite good fun to drive because it's all very stop-start. And, uh, and if you can be bothered to do it on the keyboard, which I advocate, uh, unless you're playing on a console, in which case, do it on that console handheld device uh, that's made of plastic that they came up with some time ago. Uh, many people seem to be quite fond of them. Uh, I, I, I only tend to use them for, uh, for particular types of, uh, of gaming entertainment. This not being one of them. But, uh, but there you go. No, I'm not going to stand in the way of you and your controller. You, know, you, you go for your life there, Tiger. Whatever it is makes you chipper. Uh, but here we go. Yeah, you see, you've got, the, you've got your spongy uh, side panel crash barrier thing there. Uh, when there's no trains present, you know, you'll find people regularly trying to bounce themselves off there and then back onto the platform. Do they? Probably not. Uh, I'll be honest, it's, that's probably actually made of concrete or something. It just looks like it's made of crash mat yeah maybe it does uh there we go right crank the doors and uh, and we'll be about ready to uh call this one a victory yeah call it whatever you like uh, it was a pretty dis pretty disastrous affair where did you overshoot was it no, was it oxford's oh, i was oxford circus yeah i overshot oxford circus there's a, there's a thing i wonder if i've got got form for overshooting at oxford circus right it, i think it was a, a subconscious thing where you didn't want to get off the train Oh, yeah, that's quite possible. Well, there you go. Uh, come on, show me the scores on the door. It's gold medal. Yeah, it knew. Yeah. I've been Colonel Failure, everybody. This is uh, Train to the Sim World 2. And uh, you've been a delight. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. Now, it's been the best part of eight months, nine months, since I've last covered the Train to Sim World here on the Colonel Failure video edifice. And uh, I, I quite miss doing it in my own way, uh, having to, having, covering it for, for, for work purposes on a, uh, on a frequent basis. It, it, it's, uh, it's liberating to just be able to talk rubbish while you're doing it. Now, I mean, some of you may say that I talk rubbish anyway at the best of times, so whatever. Um, right, good. Now then, the, the, expect more of the train simulating world uh, to turn up in the in the Friday slot. But, yeah, we're calling it a Friday slot now. Uh, as we uh, as we migrate into the 2021, uh, there will be new slots that uh, that routine and regular services are applied into. By which I mean series. I don't know why I don't talk just plain English in these, you know. But I get somewhat carried away with a, a flamboyant turn of phrase, and and once you you head down that mine shaft. 
let me tell you, you haven't got a safety cage to stop you. You, you. you plummet all the way to the bottom where your vocabulary spirals out of control and no one can tell what you're talking about. There it is, um, and uh, and there you are. So yeah, so expect more of these. I'm gonna, I've got, I've got a few to catch up on. So I'll, I'll catch up on them, shall I? I reckon. Yeah.